All right, this is the new Torque from Ocean Kayak. And at the heart of the new boat is this trolling motor that we've designed to fit integrally into this kayak. You can see back here what we did is essentially incorporate a large scupper that accepts this motor so it becomes a seamless integration of the motor into the kayak. Now, of course, there are other kayaks out there that have trolling motors attached, but generally they're done with 2x4 technology or somehow strapped onto a rudder. This one, by integrating it into the boat, we make a much more seamless and clean design and uh, something that really functions a lot better as well. Now, this is a 33-pound thrust Encoda trolling motor with a weedless wedge propeller, sort of their standard item. Note that this is also set up for saltwater, so it's got a uh, saltwater coating on the outside. It's got a sacrificial anode, so this thing is fully saltwater, ca saltwater capable. Now, the biggest thing about this boat is when you start integrating a trolling motor and a battery into the boat, the thing becomes ungodly heavy. So what we did is made it completely modular. So you can see you've got a motor module here that weighs 20 pounds. It actually floats. This drops into the motor once you get down to shore. The same thing is true with the battery. So you can take the battery as a separate element and simply drop it into the battery box once you get to shore, saving yourself the hassle trying to pull a 100-pound boat off the roof of your car. The motor, once it goes into the boat, and we'll show this in a little bit more detail in the water, the motor simply plugs into this outlet on the back of the boat. So all it is is plug and play, strap the motor in place, plug it in, and you're good to go. So up front here we've got the battery box centrally located in the boat to, max, to optimize our trim. Within the battery box is a, uh, a circuit breaker just in case there's an overload in the circuit anywhere this will blow before anything bad happens to the motor or the controls. This is the control panel of the boat right here. The control panel, there are really only two controls. One is your speed control, forward and reverse, and the other is a kill switch. You attach the kill switch to your life jacket, and if you do fall out of the boat, this automatically kills the entire power system of the boat, so the boat's not going to go away from you. This is the, the key element, though, of this boat, and what it is is an infinitely variable speed control connected to our maximized trolling motor. So first of all, the infinitely variable speed is really important because as you're working on trolling or something like that from a kayak, a typical five-speed trolling motor will push you too fast. Even speed one on a typical trolling motor is way too fast. So this allows you to essentially get it so the prop is barely even visibly moving all the way up to full speed, which will push you along at five and a half miles an hour or so. Also, the same thing is true in reverse. You can go any infinite speed in reverse and really optimize the control of this boat. So you can really position yourself anywhere you want. You can position yourself stationary in a current. You can you know, cruise along the shoreline. And the beauty of this whole concept really is that you don't have to use your hands at all. Once you set your speed, you are entirely hands-free because your steering is accomplished by these two foot pedals which are connected to the rudder in the back of the boat. As you can see, the rudder is quite substantial compared to what you're used to seeing on a kayak. And the reason for this is just to op optimize our maneuverability on this thing. Uh, this is a 13-foot boat, and it'll still turn on a little over its length, so it's extremely maneuverable. And that big rudder and maneuverability combined with the fact that you've got forward and reverse makes this thing so it can go just about anywhere. Finally, this boat is still a kayak. It's completely paddleable as a kayak with a paddle. You don't need to use the trolling motor if you don't want to. So you can simply remove the battery and remove the motor and install this element, which is a simple skeg. Once that skeg's installed, it, re it tracks out the stern of the boat so that it paddles quite nicely, just like a uh, Prowler Trident 13, for instance. So it is a very versatile craft in that you can paddle it as a kayak or put in the battery and motor around completely hands-free.
Yeah.